guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Hi, Sherry here from NFDC. How's it going? Uh, so this is going to be a twin flame reading for uh, February, or sorry, yes, February the 25th until March the 4th. So what shall we use here? Um, I think I'm going to use a different, a couple of different decks. Um, this is a Rider Waite, the Gilded Rider Waite deck. Um, I think I'll just use, do a regular Twin Flame reading, I think. You know what, I'm going to use the Rider Weight for the uh, feminine side, and then I'll use another deck uh, for the masculine. So let's pull the cards first. Are you going to be able to see those okay? All right. Mm, that's it. Okay. So this is um, Easy Tarot by Josephine Ellershaw. Okay, that should be good. Use the uh, Call It Baron Read Enchanted Map for the Union Energy. And I think I'll use this for the bottom of the deck as well. So let's see. Stuck in the Mud. Okay, so Stuck in the Mud is struggling, feeling, you know. You can't move forward on something. Let me just have a look at the book. And usually the message to that is to surrender, to let go, just to allow things uh, to transpire. So it says, becoming stuck is something, or sorry, is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around you. In fact, this is a sign that you need to shift your focus from what you're doing and place it, your attention elsewhere. Struggling will only get you uh, into muddier places. So it's not a time to move forward, but to observe. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Stop and find joy in what you've overlooked. Soon you'll be out of the mud, but for now be still and know that spirit has planned for you. So the energy for the coming week is feeling stuck and so use that to your advantage. Um, you know, take time to rest and relax and uh, try to change your focus. You know, instead of feeling like you lack, um, look at all the positive things in your life. Okay, so what is in the past position for the feminine? Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is moving on. It is... You know, going through a difficult time, possibly heartbreak, you've lost something, um, uh, and you know, negative energy may have been projected at you, but you're moving on from that. You're moving into a calmer state. Um, it's more or less a positive card. You, you finally made that decision to leave negativity behind you. So I'm just going to pull one clarifier. So the Queen of Swords, um, we have two sword energy here. So this is either about communication um, or negative energy or negative thoughts. 
So the Queen of Swords is somebody who has very cutting words, who um, doesn't take shit from people. You know, she'll tell you like it is. She isn't afraid to speak her mind. Um, but she could also be a businesswoman who's very cunning as well. But I'm not really seeing that in this situation. I'm seeing somebody who may have directed some negative energy towards the feminine and the feminine decided she needs to, to move away from that type of situation. And it could be a man or a woman. It doesn't necessarily have to be a feminine. Okay, and so for the masculine's past position, we have the Page of Pentacles. So this I usually see as somebody who is beginning um, their life. Basically, they realize that they need money um, in order to survive in this society. So they, uh, they need to go to school or, you know, get a job. So it's the beginning of this, you know, uh, financial whatever so it could also mean that there's been some communication or contact in the 3d as well but I see this as an offer being given to the masculine and the masculine committing to something in the long term you know sitting down and, and making plans for the future so it's a commitment to an idea that may be profitable for him if he commit you know if he puts enough time and energy into it so I'm going to shuffle the side as, as well. So I just wanted to mention again that I am selling my cards. Um, I've changed the words on the top. Um, I, um, I'm selling them. I decided that I'm going to lower the price now to about $75. I was offering um, a reading along with it at $100. Um, but I'm going to decrease it to $75. And that does include the shipping except in Canada for some reason in Canada it's double the price uh, so yeah um, just email me below uh, it's sherry shock at hotmail.com okay so let me just pull a clarifier for that zero point the fool so again there's a sense of a, a new adventure a new journey a new start on something that's um, that happened with the masculine. The uh, zero point card is the fool. So this is um, feeling innocent, free, um, you know, about a new start. And because it's in the past, it looks to me like he made that decision to take a leap of faith, to, to move forward um, on this new beginning in the 3D reality. What's in the feminine's present is the five of swords. Okay, so we got the six of swords, five of swords, so there's still some negative energy that's surrounding the feminine. Um, this is winning at all costs. You know, this man is standing here kind of smug. He's holding all these swords in his hands, and there's two people walking away. Um, you know, he won in um, a negative way, right? So I'm just going to put one card here, throat chakra. So this is communication whenever I see this card I hear the word um you know and that's a very sacred sound so I feel whenever this card shows up it's more of a spiritual meditative energy uh, but it could also be you know communicating speaking your truth uh, or it could also indicate a blockage so the five of swords negative energy being projected or winning at all costs um, and it could possibly have to do with communication. The Queen of Swords is somebody who's a very good communicator. Like I said before, she expresses herself very well. Um, so whatever took place in the past is still affecting the feminine in the present. So what's in the masculine's present position? Ten of Cups. So this is the happily ever after. It's harmony, peace, everyone's getting along, um, your emotion your emotional relationships are balanced um, you know just feeling connected with everybody that's in your life your friends your family but it is again is the happy happily ever after as well solar plexus chakra so both aspects have a chakra activated this one is your will your power your strength your courage your confidence so because it's coupled with the ten of cups I feel that he feels a boost of confidence. Um, he in, decided to invest in something in the past, have a new start, and right now it, it feels like everything's working out great for him. Um, 
he's just excited about life. He's surrounded by love and um, it's giving him confidence. The near future for the feminine, the queen of cups. So she's got two queens on her side. The queens are emotional, um, but they're also receptive type of energies. Uh, the Queen of Cups could represent uh, a water sign, the Queen of Swords, air sign, obviously. Uh, the Queen of Cups is somebody who's emotionally generous. She gives her love. She, you know, if the, she sees a dispute, she wants to make that person feel better. So she'll offer her ear. She'll offer advice. Um, she's also somebody who is very psychic as well. So the near future, the feminine, I feel there will be some type of resolve. Um, you know, there's a lot of negativity that's kind of um, following her in her wake. The four of swords. So even though it has a three of swords picture here, it is the four of swords card. So this is good to see. This is um, a healing heart. So this card comes after disputes, negativity, you know, a uh, broken heart, and um, it is a t time healing. So it's a withdrawal again from negative energy, negative people, in order to find some me time um, and heal yourself may so that you can make some decisions. So the near future, I see that negative energy being resolved and some healing energy coming in, possibly a feminine to help with that. Um, or you're just in that, you know, loving space. Um, you're, you're forgiving somebody and healing from whatever happened in the past there. The near future for the masculine is the King of Swords. So the King of Swords, again, could be an air sign. Uh, the King of Swords is somebody who has mental clarity, who um, takes action, who speaks their mind, but they're, you know, an authoritative figure as well, very commanding, um, and they're unemotional as well. So this is coming in the masculine's near future, so this could be the masculine or somebody else. The Five of Cups is mourning and loss, heartbreak, um, you know, it's from being attached to somebody or some idea or something and that thing not working out and leaving, uh, you with a broken heart, right? So in the near future, there's a mourning process that's being taken place with the masculine and he may cut himself off emotionally as a result of it. I'm just going to pull one more card here. Okay, so the Eight of Swords is the mental prison. So this is um, feeling trapped by the mind, but it is a self-imposed prison, so you can uh, release yourself from that, especially somebody like the King of Swords. So in the near future, the masculine will be triggered or something will happen that will make him feel trapped. Um, you know, somebody might come to him with some bad news and um, I feel that he rises above as the King of Swords. He um, it's almost like he doesn't ac accept responsibility for any type of emotional abuse that might be projected at him. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't play the game. Okay, and we'll leave the outcome for later. So let's move on to the foundation. This is shared energy coming apart. So the um, as a foundation, what both aspects are standing on is coming apart. So maybe there is a dispute, um, an argument that took place. Let's see. So it says, now's the time to take separate paths. Okay, and so we see the feminine is the one with the Six of Swords walking away. Um, but on the masculine side, we see this positive energy of moving, to, you know, into this beautiful new beginning. So opposite polar energies. So the coming apart card is a sign to put an end to what no, what is no longer working for you. Has a commitment been broken? Perhaps you need to break a promise or change course because you took 
on more than you could handle. This is a perfect time to reassess your goals and values. Are your actions in alignment with what you believe? Have you created partnerships that are no longer mutually beneficial? Um, separation, dissolution, and um, dispersion are all in focus now. I'm not going to continue to move, but you get the idea, right? So that's what's causing that stuck in the mud feeling. There, you know, something didn't work out the way that they thought it would. The feminine's moving away, it seems like, um, where the masculine was more positive, and then he gets the news and, and it makes him feel sad and trapped, but ultimately he releases himself from it. I don't know. So I'm just going to pull one card each. So the masculine, yeah, okay, so you got the Knight of Cups and the feminine and the moon. So the moon card is the unknown. It's all those scary, creepy things hiding under your bed in the closet. Um, you know, it's just the mind getting worked up, um, fearful over silly things. So the feminine was really triggered and fearful and may have done something that created this separated feeling. Right, we have her moving away. Uh, the ma masculine has the Knight of Cups. So this is somebody who's very romantic, who, you know, shows his love, um, desires to be in a relationship, a connection. So again, it follows suit with what was happening in the masculine's past and present. Oop. Okay, so what is the feminine bringing into the union? Wow, four wands. Um, surprised to see that. So the four of wands is usually you know, the twin flame card. Uh, it's commitment, it is feeling like you've accomplished something amazing. Um, you know, it could be like working on a project and then having it finally done, uh, but it also could, could mean marriage, um, buying a home together, property. So this is what she's bringing into the union. I'm gonna pull one more card here. Six of Cups, Reunion, someone from the past coming back. So in terms of this connection, there is um, a recognition of a twin flame, uh, that this person is your twin flame, and that they want to reunite with you. Um, even though there might, you know, I'm almost seeing that whatever negative energy is here uh, is surrounding the feminine and is affecting her mentally um, but ultimately she returns to this, you know, um, loving state. There is a lot of love there for the, the masculine. She wants to reunite, but there's definite things going on that is kind of pulling her away. What is the masculine bringing in? The high priestess. Intuition. Um, receptive energy. So he has foresight. He... He's looking to the future. He's looking for answers. Um, this is a subconscious mind. He might be paying attention to his thoughts, his dreams. So he is tapped into the, you know, the ethereal realm, looking for answers. So let's pull one more card. The two of pentacles is a uh, decision being made. And as that, you know, idea takes root, it changes the environment making him feel off-centered. So um, he's finding balance, surrendering, allowing this idea to take root. Um, and he, he has, you know, a good sense about it. He feels that things are going to go to work out, you know what I mean? Even though they're, he needs to deal with something in the near future, he feels guided. Okay, so what's at the heart? Protecting treasures. So, you know, the message of this card is that everything's going to be fine. Um, not to worry, you're going to be looked after. And it could also mean that there's, you know, money coming as well. So it says you are always protected and divinely directed. Although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level, you are able to move forward safely and securely. So at the heart, there's a desire to move forward, even though the overall energy is feeling stuck. Um, 
Yeah. I'm not getting too much more from it than that. I'm just going to pull two more cards. So the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Um, the Ace of Swords mental clarity is making a decision and standing by that decision, not hiding anything, feeling, you know, exposed, knowing your truth. So at a fundamental level, she feels protected, right? There's the um, Four of Wands there. But she is dealing possibly, you know, with some type of financial situation. Okay, so he's bringing in the Seven of Cups, which is follow your heart. So it's this is knowing what you want, but not knowing how to get there. Um, you know, it could make you feel a little vulnerable, um, unsteady, um, confused about which way to go. So he's in the midst of making some decisions, I believe, which he does in the near future. What is the crowning energy? Heal, the ouch, yes. So what you both desire is to heal. Um, and that's definitely what I was picking up with the feminine and what will happen with the masculine as well. So as a crowning energy, both aspects want to come together and heal, to connect, um, and, you know, start to move forward again. High Priestess again. And the chariot. So the chariot is being in the vortex. It's your willpower. It's conquering things. It's overcoming challenges and obstacles. It's pursuing things that you desire that makes you happy emotionally. Um, the high priestess is another emotional card, water card, but you know he's got it in terms of what he's bringing into the union. So um, he's searching for answers and he's definitely listening to his intuition and feeling guided um, to reach out, to connect, to, to heal, restore uh, the bond. So the feminine wants to pursue, the feminine wants to move forward. She f maybe feels like she's out of control, but remember the energy is feeling stuck in the mud, right? So um, there's a sense that she wants to give up maybe and walk away. Um, yeah, it's hard to say. Okay, so the final outcome for the feminine is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is taking it slow, one step at a time, slowing down. That was the message of, you know, the overall energy was to slow down. Take this opportunity to um, see where you've made mistakes in the past uh, so you don't, you know, continue uh, and also, you know, they're very committed to the goal as well. So um, they always arrive at the destination. So this could be, you know, a pivotal moment where they reach that goal as a final outcome. Let's pull out my card. Wow, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, it just confirmed that um, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's very successful. So they've reached, you know, they've arrived at that goal. They've they've attained that. Um, that goal and they're very successful as a result of it just notice that she's got almost every um, queen on her side activated here except for the queen of fire so focus is on um, it looks to me like finances um, and negative energy that is surrounding her ultimately she is the victor because she slowed down because she took it one day at a time um, yeah just stick with it you know don't give up the final outcome for the masculine is the four of pentacles so you know in this picture this person is clutching these pentacles the they're not sharing you know so this is somebody who is closed off or very um, I don't know they, they, they don't want to share. So let's see what else. The high priest, okay. So the high priest is somebody, um, this is another earth card, like the pentacle. Um, however, this is somebody who is spiritual and they want to share their knowledge 
with others. So this could be, you know, connecting with the vibe tribe. Um, but that coupled with the four of pentacles, I guess, you know, it's like picking up the pieces, um, whatever you needed to let go of, um, you are grateful for what you still have, I guess. I don't know. Um, but there's a sense of being divinely guided to not hold on so tightly, but to share, um, you know, don't be controlled by the material world. Hmm. Okay. So let's pull two final messages from the universe. So we're going to use... Um, Oh my god, why can't I think today? Missing mermaids. Okay, for the feminine first. Mermaid with floating flowers. And for the masculine, La Serena. Okay. So that, you know, La Serena is like the death card. It's friendships, things that no longer serve you. You need to let go of those things. And I can't remember what this one is, so let's read that one first. I'm sensing that my camera might shut off soon, so I apologize if it does. Okay, so the, for the feminine. When the temporal blooms, trunes reverently cross my heart, are my only signs of triumph. It makes me wonder, really wonder, whether they were childish whims or solemn from the start. An intense mermaid lies in her pond, hiding behind offerings of beautiful flowers strewn into her watery realm. She is resistant to the accolades and distrustful of her admirers, despite their authenticity and sincerity. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's kind of what we see here, is not trusting, right, with the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords, Queen of Swords, um, negative energy. So it says, you will soon be honored and recognized. Your accomplishments will soon be acknowledged. There is no need to be shy. You have earned the acclaim and deserve to be recognized. And so I see that's what happens up here, right? She's, she takes that cup and she feels humbled by it and it helps heal her. And then she, you know, rises above and actually receives some type of ab abundance as a result of it. So you have earned the acclaim and deserve to be recognized. You may um, feel the need to question the reward or the motives of those who seek to recognize you for what you have done. But don't worry, the attention is genuine. The esteem is sincere. You have accomplished a great deal in the past that was never recognized. This explains your reluctance to accept the goodwill of your well-wishers now. But now is the time to open yourself up to the praise and allow it to heal that part of you that has been neglected for so long. Embrace being a success, a hero, or the award winner without letting it embarrass you or go to your head. Well, maybe just a little bit. Yeah. And that's exactly what happens. Okay, guys? Accept it. You are freaking awesome. Okay, number 36. All right, so it says, remember those who have come and passed, loves that lingered but couldn't last, questions raised but never asked, lulls the enchanted mermaid song, uh, remember joys from long ago, friends you now no longer know, dreams you had no time to sow, her words are tempting but ring wrong, a captivating mermaid preparing for that whatever special day of the dead is decked out by the tiny skulls and flowers, she is seductive and enchanting, singing the song that is alluring but dangerous. Message, do not get dizzy with the songs of the mermaid. So remember to honor loved ones in your past, but do not get swallowed up. Yes, that's what I see here. Swallowed up in memories. Do not forget to live in the present and plan for the future, uh, or you will be doomed to live in the shadows of others. Bear in mind that the past shines brighter in your memories than in reality ever can. Uh, do not be deceived into falsely remembering what came before. The saying, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, applies to time as well as space. We remain grounded in the present, not mirrored in the past or intoxicated with, with what could have been. A life lived fully in the present with a healthy reverence for the past and an optimistic eye for the future is the best balance. Do not let the mermaid of remembrance beguile you. Okay, so yeah, that's what I see here. 
being triggered, you know, and then possibly being, being closed off. And I feel that that um, high priest card is, you know, encouragement from the universe not to close off, but to detach yourself from the material world. Um, and, you know, just somebody wants to trigger you, just look the other way, right? It's not about you, it's about them. All right, I hope this helps. I'm sending massive love to you guys. Cheers.